In our news, Macaulay School is the first local private school to require all employees and students to get their COVID-19 vaccines before returning to school this fall. Our Mary Frances Hoops joins us with more on this story live from Macaulay. Mary Frances. Well, a spokesperson for the school said masks have been a challenge for their students so far. So in order to do away with that and some other restrictions, they're requiring everyone on campus to get a vaccine, get a little more sense of normalcy. They said so far they've received a lot of positive feedback from both parents and students about this decision. Boys like to move around. Boys like to touch, like the high five. There has not been any of that at Macaulay School, an all boys middle and high school this past year. Now that the FDA has approved the vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds and the CDC announced those fully vaccinated no longer need to wear masks, the school saw a way to let their boys get back to normal. To do that, they're requiring vaccines for students and staff. The boys are excited about it. Most of the parents are excited about it. Come fall, when they return to the classroom, things will look a lot different. We can take off a mask in class. We can have that interaction. We can shake hands again. We can, we can move around. We can go to the dining hall and socialize. Bill Steverson, spokesperson for Macaulay, says since the announcement, the support has been overwhelmingly positive, but they have received concerns from some parents. We're not doing anything um, irresponsible, and we're, we don't want them to do anything that is against their religious or medical beliefs. Like all other required vaccines at the school, there are exemptions for medical, religious, moral, and ethical reasons. We work with the parents and the boys on an individual basis. So far, the majority of the teaching staff has been vaccinated. Steverson says close to 65% of students 16 and older are also vaccinated. The school will be hosting a webinar at 6 p.m. coming up in about an hour for parents to ask school officials questions regarding this decision. The school will also hold a COVID-19 vaccine clinic on Thursday for students and staff only to get them vaccinated. They'll do several more of those throughout the summer in order to get everyone vaccinated before they go back to school in the fall. We also reached out to other private schools in the area on their decisions for requirements for COVID-19 vaccines. Baylor School says right now they have no plans to make it a requirement. And then GPS says they just strongly encourage everyone eligible to go ahead and get their shots. Live in Chattanooga, Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.